Okay. Uh, I will say that is crazy. All right, so we are going to talk today about a couple things. One is if you've never been in one of my classes before, um, you've been through Canvas, everybody in the class, thank you very much, has already gone through canvas.stanley.edu and you have um, successfully logged in and completed the initial assignment. So all of you are good there. We will come back to here just once or twice during the semester just to quote, prove attendance. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna prove attendance and uh, that's it. For the most part though, you can just do this. You can go, okay, forget about Canvas, all right? Uh, Stanley's Canvas. We're going to be working in netacad.com. So all of you have been in here before, obviously. You've all um, done the classes, you've been through this, you've seen uh, how Netacad works. The only thing that's going to be a little different, um, and I apologize because my screen's over here and my camera's over here. I'll move it over uh, next time. Used to be with, I used, um, that's why I struggled a little bit with the recording. I used to use um, WebEx to record my, my meetings, and then I would have to convert the WebEx file to an MP4. Well, I'm starting using, I'm using Zoom now, and with Zoom, I can just, it automatically converts it to MP4, and I just throw it up to, uh, to the YouTube channel. So, um, you'll see my YouTube channel. For the most part now, I use it just for work, but I will show you there's a couple cool dog videos on there. Those who are in the hunting, my, my Labrador, I got some, got him doing some work on there, so you can check my lab out. Uh, unfortunately, Wookie has uh, went to the great hunt in the sky about a year and a half, two years ago, so um, I'll be, we'll, we'll hunt again, but it will, it's going to be a while, hopefully, anyway. Um, I also want to kind of give you an idea of if uh, I'm out or I have Sometimes I have to go to Atlanta. I have a spinal cord injury. It's hard to see right here, but I was hit by a truck two and a half years ago. Actually, it'll be three years in March. Um, I'm, I can't, you can't tell from how fat I am now, but I used to be a triathlete um, and a cyclist and a runner. Uh, and I was out riding my bike, got hit by a truck and was paralyzed from the neck down. Um, thank God I can actually move my hands and, and walk. I walk like a drunk man, um, so I always have to tell you if you see me in person, I'm not drunk yet. Um, you know, it's early, <laughs> early in the day. Um, so if any of you are going to Cisco Live, um, I probably am not drunk when you first see me during the day. Later in the day, though, all bets are off. But either way, I walk about the same, drunk or sober. Um, so be aware of that. So sometimes I do have to take off to go to the doctor. I will warn you about it, but occasionally I have a day where I have extreme back pain. I just can't make it to work. And if I had to cancel class, I apologize in advance. But uh, that's that's what I'm dealing with from from the injuries that I have. Um, in our class, now here's one thing I want you to realize: this class has a good amount of assignments, as you've already seen. Um, if you go to the assignments, I actually today went in and assigned dates for all the assignments. Uh, I also assigned percentages for the assignment areas. So your packet tracers and labs make up the greatest part of your grade. Your chapter exams are 20%, the skills exam hands-on and the final uh, are 10% a piece. Um, one thing I want you to realize is I did put on every single one of these a date, but I want you to also know that I, those are not set in stone dates. So your instructors are working 40 hours a week if you don't get the chapter two packet tracer turned in by February 24th, if you turn it in on February 26th, I'm failing you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to fail you. I'm just going to um, grade it when you get it to me. So um, these dates are not set in stone. They're there because if you're like me, anytime I have a list of things I have to do and one of them has no due date, that's the last one that I do. Okay. So um, the due dates are there, but they are flexible. So if you are not able to, to hit the exact due date, that's fine. Um, I would prefer that we don't get to a week before class ends and you have everything left to do um, because that becomes a problem for you and a problem for me um, in terms of trying to get things graded and trying to take care of it. The other item you will notice, I work mainly from the modules area. So when you're in modules, and you go down, there's a couple things. I did give you a, a link to our NetLab system here under the introduction, course introduction. But also under module one, you will see that I've got it set up pretty much with the way you're gonna do each module. You're gonna read chapter one, 
And yes, that does mean you need to read chapter one. My students don't understand that, but when I say read, that means you read the materials, all right? Um, I do have a chapter one and chapter two lecture already completed, so you can actually just look at those. It's from an older version of the curriculum, but it's the same, same exact thing that's there. It's just a different color to the background. Um, we then have labs and we have packet tracers for each chapter. Now, chapter one doesn't have a packet tracer, so you'll do your lab and then you'll upload that lab into this assignment. Now, one of the cool things I can offer you if you haven't done this already, and you probably haven't since you haven't taught this class before, but all of these assignments and links that I built here, all of these are built by me and I put them into a class and then I save that as a Canvas export. So when this class is over, I can give you a class shell that you can import into your classes and all these assignments will be pre-made for you. Um, any of you who didn't take uh, CCNA from me, I also have these made for all four CCNA classes. So if you're interested in how to do this and using those um, with the pre-made assignments and the pre-made uploads, I can get you those. Um, just send me an email and I'll, I'll get you access to it and get you access to the YouTube video that shows you how to do it, okay? So we will then take the chapter exams and that's gonna be you know, pretty much the end of each one of our chapters. Some of our labs will be labs that are in Net Labs. Now I'm gonna warn you about the labs for this class. These labs are not like CCNA labs. There's one lab per chapter pretty much, except for chapter 10, which gets into the ASA. And on the ASA, there's like five different labs. But you'll notice this is a 38 page lab. So you're probably accustomed to being able to go in and do a CCNA lab and doing it in an hour or 30 minutes. Well, you're not gonna do the chapter labs in security in an hour. Okay, it's a 38 page lab that has a ton of stuff you have to configure. So when you do go to NetLabs, and again, I, I'm gonna show you, it's netlabs.stanley.edu, but to make life easy on you, I put in the course introduction, a link that will take you to NetLabs. So you can just click here and open it in a new window. All right, you can log in, and your login for NetLabs is what? Can anybody tell me? I'm not giving you my password. This is a security class. Well, I don't want your password, I want your login username. Just give me an example. Oh, oh, oh well, mine's if Donald, if Donald Duck was your name and your student ID was four 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 four, what would be your login for for NetLabs? D Duck four 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 four. Yep, D Duck four 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 four. And your initial password is Cisco one two three. All right. So you have a class in here, and you your class is named KFC CCNAS SP twenty nineteen. Now some of you are wondering why does it say KFC? I really like chicken. No, actually, my name's Kelly Franklin Caudill. So if I got it, so, you know, I blame my parents. Um, I also get stuff all the time to miss Kelly Caudill. I blame my parents for that too, for A, that I am a guy, and B, that my name is Kelly. So, but inside of here, you all have a, uh, you already have your account made, and I want you to test your access to it later today if you don't mind. Now, when we go in here to schedule a lab, if you go to scheduler, you go to schedule a lab, you'll be schedule a lab for yourself. You'll find your class. And I think Brandon, you're the only one that's taken two classes from me. I think that's right. Maybe someone else, but I think just Brandon. You will then go, now there's see here, you've got the map. These are the skills exams, so don't bother with those right now. Just go to the CCNA security version two map ASA. And then you can pick any of the labs that you want to do. Now, I also uh, want you to see down here that we have some special labs. These are labs, these are the same labs as what's up here, except they're made to work on the 5506. Now, let me do just a real quick explanation. The, the, uh, the ASA 5505 was the version previous to 5506, obviously, but the 5505 used virtual interfaces and it used virtual, um, uh, security level. So you create a VLAN, assign a security level to it, and then move interfaces into that. The new 5506 is much more like our old PICs in that the interface security level is set on the physical interface. So 
Um, that's what is available. Now you can teach this class with either one, the 5506 is the newer. Be aware that in my setup, I have six different, I'll show this to you right now, I have six different pods. I have these four and then you need to click this little arrow, see the next two, okay? Right now, only the pod six has a 5506 on it, okay? So when we get to the part of using the 5506s, if you want to do the 5506 labs, you're gonna to need to use pod six. Otherwise, any of the different pods will work. Now, quick uh, question. How many of you have used Net, uh, NetLabs before? I have. Okay, so Brandon has, I know Nicole has. Scott, have you used it? Scott and Regis, have you used yeah, it? Yeah, we actually have our own NetLab system at Nicolay College that, we met, that I manage. Okay, cool, then, yeah, then, um, I tell you, I will say this. I would like, those of you, if you do have your own NetLab system locally, if you want to go ahead and load this, the, uh, the labs locally and do some of your labs locally, I don't mind that so you can test your own system. But our, I only want, our only problem is we don't have the, I've got the 5505 ASA, but it's not installed on one of my pods yet. So we just have the straight map pods without the ASA. Okay. Well, and for the majority of the labs, that will still work um, because it's only when you get in chapter 10 and on that if you're going to need all of them. Um, but just be, I do want you to do some on my system so I can track that you're doing labs. But okay. Otherwise, if you want to do some on yours, just to try it. Or we can, we can do any, pod. We right. can do anything local that didn't include the ASA, then you're same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, just uh, you'll, you'll upload your, your Word documents with the things filled out so I know that you did the lab. Or you can also just take a little snip of your reservation from your system and, get, and upload that, and I'll take that as proof you did it too. Okay. okay. So you'll see here, I just did a, a, a lab and I can enter the lab and I can actually start doing the lab. But the big thing I wanna warn you about again is, don't forget, these are not short little labs. These are, these are pretty long labs, okay? So don't, uh, don't get caught in that. The other thing I did on mine is, I'm gonna close this. I did actually give you the ability to, to do what's called an extension. So if you schedule three hours and you get toward the end of three hours and it's about to run out, I gave you the ability in the class to do up to two extensions. Um, so that's a new feature that's been set up on the classes where you can actually say allow extensions and it gives you 15 minute extensions. So that I've given you an extra 30 minutes past what you, you set up. Um, if we find that you need more than four hours, I can change that too. But I think most of the labs can be done in four hours, no problem. All right. Any questions on net labs? <clears throat> Honestly, um, I, now I, I generally use Packet Tracer before a lot of the labs just to make sure I'm not going into this and then end up running out of time. Yep. Uh, is most of this stuff Packet Traceable? I'm not sure about the well, ASA. No, I haven't even had to use here's, it. here's the thing that you can do. For 99% of all of the chapter labs, the Packet Tracer is the exact same lab, uh, but it's in Packet Tracer. So take a look, oh. at, take a gander at this. When you go in here, and I open up this packet tracer, okay? It's very similar, it's very similar to what you're gonna be doing in the lab. It's not exact by any means. Um, there are some commands that are not available in packet tracer that yeah, are I'm used to that. that. Um, in fact, in this very, in chapter two, I believe it's the, um, there's a security level um, command that's not available. A, uh, it's a type of encryption that's not available. So if you try to do this lab on Packet Tracer, it won't work. Uh, uh, okay. But you can, well, you can try to do as much as you can and then go in and do it. So. I've, I've just finished setting up a big server over here because I'm, uh, I'm building out a nice GNS3 server. Okay. I just might have to find a copy of a bin off somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that'll <clears> work. That'll work too. Um, but yeah, that uh, that's a... Uh, that's that's a, a, a negative of packet tracers that won't do everything that's in this class. This class is, honestly, folks, I'll be upfront with you, this class is due for a refresh um, very soon. Um, I don't have any word that it's gonna be refreshed, but I do feel like it needs to be refreshed fairly soon because there's a lot of new firepower stuff. There's not a, a lot of new firepower management console items and things that have come into being um, as part of Cisco trying to catch up with other vendors in the, uh, in the firewall market. So each chapter, you're going to read the chapter. 
you're going, well, what I'd actually do is watch the lecture, read the chapter, and then do the packet tracer and then do the labs, okay? Now this class, for most classes, uh, especially my CCNA classes, you know, each chapter may have eight or 10 labs. So I normally tell my instructors that I only really expect you to do 80% of the labs and 80% of the packet tracers um, for a particular for a particular module or section. This class has only one PT and one lab for 99% of the chapter. So I really expect you to do all of them, okay? Um, you don't have to do all of the 5506 labs if you don't want to, but I do strongly recommend that you do that, okay? One thing you'll learn about this new, the new uh, setup, uh, there's no Java. So, and remember Java is of the devil. So yeah, tell Cisco that so they'll stop putting those packet tracer kickoff scripts. I know, yeah, Java is evil. Java is absolutely evil. So, but I do ask that in the class you will do, I uh, try to do everything that's in these because again, it's, it's not as many as what you will typically find in another class. Okay, um, remember again, what, go ahead. Scott. Kelly, you, you said in assignments you had a list of everything with dates on. Are all those duplicated in the module? So if we open the modules, we'll see everything we have to do there as well? That is correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. All you got to do is go, uh, you can do everything you need to do for this course in Netacad under modules. Perfect. So all your dates are here and everything. And again, like this social engineering doc, it is actually a Word document. So then you can just upload it here and I'll grade it. Okay. Any questions about that? One question on Packet Tracer, uh, what version of, a, of that do you want us to use, 7.2? Yeah, you need to be using 7.2.1. 7.2.1? Yeah, use 7.2.1 because, um, and that's true in all your classes too, there's so many little issues going on with grading. If you don't use 7.2.1, you can really get in trouble. Yep. So I had somebody today was having problems and, and we tracked it down to being, they were on 7.1.1. So. I don't remember which version I have, let me see here. Yeah, I, I think to, I've got the newest one as well. I had to download a new one last night. On, I had to download the new one on this machine because I had 7711. Let me, uh, one other thing I want to show you is uh, my YouTube channel. You'll see, get to see Wookie. Beautiful old Wook Wook. But I have a playlist. And that playlist is called ITC Classes Spring 2019. And this will be where I post all of your, the class recordings. Okay, so this class recording for today will be posted. So this was yesterday's class scaling connecting meeting for 2.12.19. Your security class meeting will be uh, placed right here also. Okay, so, and I will send out a link to my channel so that you uh, don't have to go looking for it, but it is kcaudle52. Uh, There's also in here a playlist called ASCITC tutorials. So if you ever need to know how to import a shell into a course or add an existing instructor to your academy or do PTASA or all these other things, like looking up your own transcript to see what you can and cannot teach, I've done short little videos in here so that you can do that. Um, and you're welcome to share these to anybody you want and uh, <clears throat> they, they're welcome to use them. So I'm gonna keep making more. For instance, there's a, I get constant questions about what classes need instructor training and which ones don't. I'm going to do a video showing you how to see where where that's at and how you actually find that. And I'll do some more on equipment and those types of things. So this will be where I put the uh, the recordings. All right. Um, are there any questions on what we've gone through? Now I also have here, this was one of my former students, uh, Travis Bonfiglia, and he has a large number of items. He went through and did all the packet tracers and actually walks through doing the packet tracers. Um, he also goes through and does some other items here showing um, some videos that he did and some things and some items. But he did all these packet tracers, actually all these packet tracers are his. So you can go through and, and he, he gave them out and said, hey, yeah, just show it whoever. And so feel free to use these. Um, again, I don't know I haven't gone through all of them, but you can actually see them walking through the packet tracer. So it's something that some people like to have, um, especially for your students. You may want to, to use these down the road. And he said, that's fine. No problem at all. You can actually give them to your students to use once you get through the course. Okay. 
So that's why I've got this special additional video resources from Travis. Uh, please do just give him credit. I know it's all in the, the video, um, but I told him I would always give him credit whenever I used it. All right, um, any questions about the setup for the class and our plans for how we're going to go through the class and make things work? None whatsoever. You know all, hear all, see all. We, you don't have any problems with us working ahead of things, do we? We have time? Not at all. No, Perfect. feel free to. Yeah, if you if you have time to work ahead, get done. That's that's not a problem. Working ahead is not a problem. Um, I'll do my best to try to stay caught up grading. I can't absolutely promise I will. Um, I do know in March I have my ASCITC meeting where I'm away for a week, and then I'm going to Chicago for a week to. Uh, uh, now that I can't do as much riding, I actually play these little miniature games. I play Warhammer 40K uh, and some other games, so I build little miniatures, and I'm going to a, a big miniatures conference. I'm going to go spend a week goofing off in Chicago. Um, so there will be a couple times when I'm away anyway, and so it would be good for you to be working ahead. All right, any other questions? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing real quick. And I'm going to stop recording.